Uh, this is Reverend Jay Rambo, and today I'm doing the, uh, the midweek um, devotional. And the title of this is called Porcupine People. Um, the scripture lesson is from 1 John chapter 4, verses uh, 16 to 21. Uh, we love him because he first loved us. Someone says, I love God, and the other says, I hate my brother. He is a liar, <clears throat> for he does not uh, love his brother, uh, whom he has seen. Uh, how can he love someone that he has not seen? <clears throat> and this commandment we have from him, that we who love God must love our brother also. <clears throat> Uh, the story that goes with this I found to be very interesting. Uh, deep in Wyoming Canyon, uh, I came across a big porcupine, the biggest one I've ever seen. As he lumbered toward me, I watched him closely and gave him plenty of room. Uh, I was not about to get uh, near a guy whose quills looked like missiles. Uh, no wonder uh, he was alone. But he's not alone all the time. Every November and December, porcupines uh, get together uh, enough and to produce offspring. And during that time, they choose to relax their quills uh, and they return uh, back to their uh, prickly uh, self uh, when the mating is done. <clears throat> Now, comparing this to the church, uh, this devotional says, in nearly every church, there will be a porcupine or two uh, with sharp quills of criticism or sarcasm or arrogance. Uh, we want to avoid them. But God's place uh, places us in this community uh, so that we might uh, encourage uh, other fellow believers. And uh, he commands us to love one another. In fact, he commands us to love everybody, <clears throat> uh, including the porcupine types. And in our honest moments, we have to admit that sometimes we may have been a porcupine. <clears throat> uh, I can uh, relate to this story because my first church in Freehold uh, there was a, a couple, we became very uh, good friends. Um, <clears throat> uh, they worked with the junior high youth group and I uh, was in charge of the senior high group. And they had a, a place up in the Poconos. And so two or three times they invited us up and uh, we would uh, spend a, a weekend with them. <clears throat> and then they got to the point where they uh, told us where the key was and we could go anytime we wanted. So I think maybe uh, twice uh, we went up by ourselves. And uh, we were in a house and all was quiet. It was probably about, oh, maybe um, 8.30 at night. And I heard a scratching on the side of the, uh, uh, the house, on the back side. And the whole house is made out of wood. <clears throat> so I open up that back door and I, I start to walk toward uh, uh, what was making the noise. And all of a sudden, I stopped and didn't move an ounce because uh, it was a big porcupine. And so <clears throat> um, I would uh, yell at it and it didn't do any good. Finally, I got um, a, a big pail of water and there was a screen door, uh, which I had locked. And I threw it through the screen door and onto the, uh, the porcupine. And he took his time, but he wandered away. <clears throat> but the, the main thoughts of this um, devotional is that you know, sometimes, well, the church is made up of people and there are all kinds of people. Uh, some are very, very nice. And, and once in a while, we come across someone who may have a bad day and um, may have a chip on their shoulder. And... Uh, we may not feel like talking to them and they may criticize us or something. Um, but the devotional says that uh, Jesus 
would love that person and that we are to be uh, like Jesus. In fact, the scripture verse is, uh, we love him because Jesus first loved us. <clears throat> and so uh, when we do encounter someone who may have had a, a bad day or maybe just uh, they're an irritable person, uh, we just shouldn't shun them and or uh, get into an argument with them, uh, but to try to be friends with them and uh, try to be patient. And because that's what God wants us to be, to be his church. It takes all sorts of people. And uh, may, sometimes we may have a bad day and, and feel like a porcupine. Um, so <clears throat> God wants us uh, to uh, do what he wants us to do. And that means uh, encouraging people uh, who are, may have difficulties uh, to remember people in prayer. Uh, as someone, uh, there's been a death in the family to take food to, to the family. Uh, these are all uh, signs of kindness uh, that God lays upon our heart to um, to help those that may be going through a difficult time and just pray and hope that uh, we aren't the pure porcupine very often, uh, but that we'd be loving and caring. And when we do come across someone that <clears throat> has some prickles on them, uh, that we would just uh, let it slide off our, our back and continue to, to love and, and pray for that person. Uh, and the final word here is, um, <clears throat> some people can be difficult to love, and so we do not even want to try to, to, to care ab uh, about them. Uh, but God says, love them even if I have loved you, and you'll bring me glory uh, as my love you share with others. Let us pray. <clears throat> Our gracious Heavenly Father, we thank you for the gift of life. We really thank you when things are going well and uh, we're happy and the people around us are happy. Uh, but that doesn't happen all the time. And uh, part of life is sometimes uh, uh, having difficulties where we need to trust in you. It means that you'll uh, lay somebody's uh, difficulties on our heart so that we might you know, pray with them or talk with them and, and uh, uh, help them in whatever way we can, uh, that we would be used by you. And help us uh, not to be that porcupine that will uh, sting other people uh, but that we would, with your patience and your love and your grace, um, do what Jesus would do, would be to love one another. And we pray this in Jesus' name. Amen.